Shalom Divine, how are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well. I'm just now getting up and um, wanted to get something off my chest. Stop letting people devalue you. Stop letting people devalue you. We've gone through so much in our lives. If you are on this journey with me, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. We've allowed them to devalue us, right? The things that they've done to us has devalued us. Unbeknownst to us, we allow it to take place. Now it's time to take your power back. When you take your power back, that looks like a variety of things to get you back in alignment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because that's taken place, now you're on the journey of self-discovery, of learning how to love yourself. And that entails, that's why it's called taking your power back. But at what point are you going to take your power back? At what point are you going to say enough is enough? Are you going to continue to allow people, because you've gotten so used to it, devalue you? Are you going to allow people to use you as a doormat? Are you going to allow people to continuously steal from you, steal your valuables, which is your energy, which is your, your capacity of thinking, which is your time? your finances, your good good. Your intellect. Your love. Your empathy. Are you going to allow them to continue to steal and devalue you? If someone is not showing you that they appreciate you, then there's a problem. <clears throat> I'm sorry. There is a problem. And it's up to you to wake up and say, you know what? I'm tired of this. I keep giving and giving and giving and inside of my bank account is looking kind of empty. It's looking as if there has been nothing to replenish it, nothing to replace it. But I am supposed to be this loving and caring individual because this is who I grew up to be, this loving, caring, giving individual. And yet no one gives to me. Now it's time for that shit to stop. You value yourself now. You're learning how to love yourself. You're learning how to appreciate yourself. And that in that looks like if I don't get the same energy and respect, whether that be my good good, whether that be my money, my time, I don't want to be a part of your ish. I don't want to be a part of it. Count me out. If I can't get that same love in return, if I can't, and then this is only, only because you're learning how to value yourself, only because you're learning how to appreciate yourself, right? Then eventually you'll understand how to love unconditionally. But for right now, you have been devalued. And now you need to learn how to appreciate yourself. And that looks like an equal terms of conditions that need to take place for this moment in time. Just until you get yourself, there is a process in everything that we do. You can't go from devaluing yourself, giving up your goods for free, and then expect to have like unconditional love for people. 
keeping your legs closed and loving them unconditionally, right? So what I'm trying to say is that is, uh, um, what I'm trying to say is for this moment and now, until you learn how to appreciate yourself and value yourself, you're looking for an even exchange. And in that even exchange, you'll eventually start to love yourself more, respect yourself more, and understand how to love yourself unconditionally. And then there comes unconditional love for other individuals, meaning that you don't put any conditions on there. But guess what? We're not there yet. We're at the bottom with people devaluing us and us accepting bullshit. I'm just saying it's time to stop accepting the things that people give us in return, which doesn't value or equal what we give them. Stop devaluing yourself and allowing others to devalue you. You are valuable. You are worthy of love. You're worthy of respect. You're worthy of time. You're worthy of finances. You're worthy of being taken care of. You are worthy. And you let people know that you are valuable and you don't stand for their shit anymore. All right. I love you guys. Bye.